Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to look at what happens when GPT-4 meets Midjourney version 5. It's been quite a week in the world of AI. Um, GPT-4 got released and um, ChatGPT in turn now has a text limited version of uh, GPT-4 that you can use. Um, GPT-4 was intended to be multimodal. I hope that ChatGPT will be rolling that out generally to everyone. I do believe that you can access it via the API. However, for now, it's just text to text. So what I did previously in another video that I will link below is I managed to get a script. I didn't write it myself, someone else that was much cleverer than me wrote it. And they uh, managed to get mid-journey uh, prompts generated perfectly every time by ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT4 is a massively increased language model, so you'd expect it to be producing better work. Uh, Midjourney version 5 is a much better system for generating images, so you would expect good things again. Let me just show you a couple of uh, things that it made. So here we have some uh, various scenes that have been made by ChatGPT and Midjourney working together with very little human interaction. So here are some of the uh, prompts that it was able to make. Um, abandoned amusement park, rusted roller coaster, and dilapidated carousel stand as eerie monuments to a time of joy and laughter. Overgrown foliage slowly reclaiming the once thriving space. A chilling contrast between the echoes of merriment and the silent desolation. Nature's grip on the park with creeping vines and towering trees brings an unsettling beauty to the decay. A feeling of unease and curiosity pervades the atmosphere, as if the park holds secrets waiting to be uncovered. The air is heavy with a sense of nostalgia and loss. The remnants of the park's heyday linger in like ghosts of forgotten memories. Dappled sunlight filters through the dense foliage, casting a spectral glow on the rusted structures and overgrown paths. Shadows stretch and converge, adding depth and dimension to the scene. And let's have a quick look at this picture. There you go. So that's, uh, I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Or here, but these two definitely a um, an abandoned amusement park. So I'm quite impressed with that. I just like the uh, the poetic language really that it makes. An ancient library, a vast chamber filled with towering bookshelves containing dusty scrolls and weathered tomes. Intricate carvings and motifs adorn the walls. A forgotten treasure trove of knowledge. Marble floor reflecting the warm light from the flickering torches. The scent of old parchment and ink lingering in the air. A sense of mystery and awe envelops the scene, the hush whispers of long lost secrets yearning to be discovered. Shadows dance playfully as they cast a warm inviting glow over the ancient texts, creating an atmosphere of reverence and scholarly intrigue. Soft diffused light illuminates the chamber, casting a, blue, casting a golden hue on the parchment and marble, with occasional flickers of bright light from the torches, casting dramatic shadows that add depth and contrast to the scene. And here's what it managed to produce which is, uh, again, quite impressive. I'll show you some of these upscaled in a bit. In fact, I'll probably um, include the lot at the end of the video just to show you what it made. Um, here are some of the ones upscaled. So this is quite wonderful, really. But um, anyway, let's get to the uh, the meat of this. Let's have a look at where um, this came from, how I was managed to generate these wonderful prompts. So here we have... Chat GPT. And let's go back up to the top. And here we are. This is the initial script. I won't read it all to you. If you want to have the uh, the entire script read to you, go and look at my previous video, which I'll link to in the description. I'll also include this um, script in the description. So if you want to be able to copy and paste it, there you go. Now, I just copied and pasted that in. It produced this prompt. I copied and pasted it in again. It produced this prompt. So this is the band at the amusement park. I did it again. It gave me a steampunk airship. I did it again. It gave me a secret garden. I did it again. It gave me a steampunk city. And I kept going until uh, it started repeating itself. This is the ancient library. A surreal floating island. Uh, an ancient celestial observatory. A whimsical treehouse village. A steampunk cityscape. Well, I noticed it's starting to get a little bit repetitive in some of its ideas. An enchanted forest library, so it's got it's combined the idea of the enchanted forest and the library. So it clearly likes enchanted forest, it clearly likes libraries. You're going to see a lot of enchanted forests and libraries. So 
it's probably best that I start looking at how I could mix this up. So it, it likes steampunk, it likes floating cities. It's combining the ideas. There's only so much variation that you're going to get out of this. So that's when I started thinking, what can I do? Now, here in the second paragraph, it says, in this prompt, one should be replaced with a random subject and two should be a short, concise description about that subject. So we're going to edit section one here and see what we can uh, get produced and how we can make larger variations in um, the chat GPT um, text that comes out. So I changed this from should be replaced with a random subject because it had just produced scenes at that stage. There was no people and I wanted people. So I changed it to one should be replaced with a random subject, sometimes including people performing actions, not just scenes. And with that small change, uh, I got acrobatic dance performers, I got mountain rescue missions, I got street magicians, I got alpine climbers, and then I got glass blowers, and then I got an astronaut, I was thinking this is cool, and a medieval blacksmith, and a painter, and then we got astronauts again. So clearly it likes astronauts with, with this new script. So I figured, how are we going to change that? So I think we need to edit part one again. So what can I edit part one to say? It gave me a medieval knight, nice. It gave me acrobats. And then I thought, what extra word can we add here? So I changed it. It should be replaced with a random science fiction subject. So I put in the word here, science fiction. So if I add a little bit more detail in section one, I can get a lot more out of this script. Um, it gave me an intergalactic explorer navigating an alien landscape. It gave me a futuristic city skyline, gleaming skyscrapers, fusing organic forms and cutting edge technology. It gave me an alien marketplace. It gave me time traveling explorers. So really the majority of the work needs to be done in this little section one here. And it will still give you a huge amount of variation. But you're probably going to get the what I call the elephant problem. That was the problem that was pervasive with um, ChatGPT3, uh, whereby it kept coming back to elephants. So if you want ChatGPT4 to work with Midjourney version 5, and you want to create unique stuff, not stuff that like everyone else is creating, then you really need to be messing with section 1. Now you may ask yourself, well, if I'm doing that, why don't I just write my own prompt? And yes, you know, like if that's uh, something that you feel comfortable with, your own prompts are always going to be the best. However, there's a lot of people out there that um, maybe lack the language skills. Maybe English isn't your first language. Maybe you lack the vocabulary and creative flair to be able to um, describe such things. But what you um, this is going to do, this is going to give you a great jumping off point to be able to do other things. So even if you just want to use it for a bit of inspiration, just see what it can do. It's great. Um, I do recommend that you have a play around with it. As I said, I'll be including the um, images at the end of this video. I'll be including the script in the description of the video on the YouTube channel, at least. Uh, if you're watching this on another platform, then uh, please uh, refer to the uh, YouTube video that will contain the script. Um, if you like what you've seen here, please do like and subscribe. And let me know what you managed to produce with this. Um, so you can always find me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash digital and AI art. Um, it's always great to hear from you all. And um, I love to get a bit of feedback. So let me know what you can do with uh, ChatGPT4. Um, if you don't have access to ChatGPT4 because you're not paying the subscription, version 3 is still available. And... It works well with version 5 of Midjourney as well. Um, it doesn't seem to produce as much variation, but with this little trick around editing number 1 slightly, maybe you'll be able to uh, get a little bit more variation out of it. So let's do a little montage and look through the images that it made. And uh, I'll put on some incidental music in the background. Enjoy. Enjoy.